Welcome to the art gallery in the wine cellar at the Wizard Academy. Now we've talked about this before, um, but one of the things I want to cover in here is we have one of the largest collections of Don Quixote focused artwork um, on the campus of the Academy um, in the world. There's a reason for that. We get asked that a lot. Why Don Quixote? What is it you guys love so much about Don Quixote? Uh, because for us, he's such a complicated character that he manages to embody several different things that we find important in life. One of them being the spirit of the independent entrepreneur. And that is something that uh, if you read Don Quixote, you sort of take from it what you bring to it, uh, like most good books. But you could sort of see in him the damn the odds, I'm going to accomplish this thing, even if everyone else thinks I'm crazy, they don't understand, we're adventuring here. Now we have right here a great example of the, the centerpiece of the art gallery, which is Don Quixote sculpture, wrapped in a fist, which sort of could represent the windmill uh, in the story, or it could represent the hand of fate. But either way, he's triumphing, and he's holding his finger up as in, just wait, just wait, I'm not done yet. Now, you're gonna roam around this art gallery when you come to visit, and every morning or evening that you walk down here, you're gonna find a different painting that you love based on what mood you're in. Um, we've got artists like Charles Bragg, Salvador Dali, Paul Deegan, William Glass, all kinds, and then some unknown artists that we just sort of fell in love with. Now, what's another thing that is really important? Well, if you look back into the um, early uh, history, of Don Quixote, you learn a little bit more about the era of the time that Cervantes was writing in, and you begin to find all of these really extraordinary biblical and Christian imagery inside of the story of Don Quixote. Now, we're not a Christian institution, but we do find some really amazing and beautiful themes uh, that we absolutely align with in some of these stories. And I think that Don Quixote is really a great picture of that. Cervantes, there's no doubt, he was writing a really perfect analogy of Christ and the church, with the church as possibly Sancho Panza, sometimes believing in him, sometimes not really sure what he's all about or what we're even doing here. <laughs> And he does everything in the name of Dulcinea, also possibly the future church. Uh, Don Quixote, you know, charges the windmill. And it could be said that he was charging death. He says, we're going to conquer these dragons. And Sancho says, but sir, those are just windmills. Or, but sir, it's just death. No one can fix that. And he says, no, you understand very little of this adventuring, Sancho Panza. And he goes down and he is dashed to the ground by the windmill and then picked up and lifted back. And that's the beginning of the journey. That's the beginning of all adventures. Um, there's a lot of really incredible imagery like that in art through the ages. And uh, we're grateful to have pieces like this here on the Academy. I hope next time that you're here, you'll be able to roam around and find some things that are meaningful to you. Until then, may your crazy stay this side of legal and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.